rights, not rescue. That is a major theme that emerged from a seven year long research study concerning the sex trade as well as human trafficking. North Bay's Brenda Quenville has spent many years in social services supporting domestic violence survivors. Quenville played a major role in the Northeastern Ontario Research Alliance on Human Trafficking. The study contained as well. She tells us what rights, not rescue, means to her. There's so many problems with a rescue model in that it really doesn't it doesn't focus on the self-determination of these people who are who are exploited and who are um, really not in connection with their with their own sense of determination. And so, if we're undermining it, undermining those those very things that they need in order to be able to face what they're going through, then it's really problematic. And in terms of the rights, what we're talking about with human trafficking is really at the crux um, violence and and lack of safety in the sex industry. And so if we're going to be working with trying to make a more safe environments for people in which to work, then we have to address that within the rights of, of people who are involved in the sex industry. And last week I spoke with Rosemary and she made it clear that uh, to decriminalize prostitution is a, is a good step forward. Do you share that uh, stance? I do, particularly when we're looking at destigmatizing sex work. When I'm thinking about um, some of the tactics that traffickers use in order to coerce or um, or entice people into traffic into sex work, they often will use these kinds of narratives like no one's going to care about you because you have sex for money, or no one's going to believe you because you are a prostitute, and that. When we as a society kind of reinforce that stigma, we're playing right into the hands of traffickers. They are using that stigma in order to gain the power over these people. And so if we really want to change that narrative, we have got to deal with our own stigma in terms of sex work. Anything in the near decade long of preparing this uh, research that surprised you? Because you've been in the field for a long time. Any, any findings that surprised you? Um, my position changed quite a bit from the start to uh, this point. I think, I think that perhaps at the beginning I might have been more inclined to um, fall into some of the rescue mentality but now that I've talked with a lot of people who have lived experience and those family members, the, the thing that struck me the most, I think, is that people define their own experiences in such different ways that for me as a service provider to define their experiencing as trafficking or not, right there is problematic. And to have government funding then tied into that definition of either it's trafficking or not is also problematic because people do not identify their own experiences in that kind of black and white way and that is where the problems lie for people accessing services.